Hey everyone, well, welcome to this episode of Moon Bats. Um, last night I got a text from a friend who said my landlord has been ordered by the city to clear out some of his stuff um, because he's a hoarder, which is a thing that happens to people. And he has a 1948 Indian inside. So I'm gonna go try to check it out. So I have no idea uh, what I'm walking into. Uh, he has a price in mind. I looked all night last night for stuff about Indians. I don't know anything about Indians at all. It's an Indian scout. I know that much. So I'm going to try to take some pictures, try to take some video. Um, I'm not going to be a jerk and put this online if he doesn't give me, allow me to film in his house. So this might be nothing. but. It might be something. So, bringing you along for the ride here, and we'll uh, see what happens. Maybe this will be cool. Maybe this will not be cool. It got lost in the design. So anyway, Here's the I fork. Mean, I, I was there, and I passed by there oh, yesterday. Yeah. I saw your van. You see it the there. Yeah. To a taxi that went through a red light. Yeah. And it cost me almost like four years in my life, and I had one operation after another to get a bone graft. So you know, oh geez, okay. They are, but we love them. <laughs> well, well, you see, in those days, you weren't forced to, to, to wear a helmet yet. Yeah. The, the, the only worst hazard was to drive on the Metropolitan and get this dust in your eyes. Yeah. That was the worst part. So this is, you said this is the original seat. Yes, it is. Okay. And they do um, refurbish them. So. Yeah. I mean, it, it's in it's in great shape, well, to be honest. Normally it had, uh, what is it, uh, chamois, you know, like the leather that can yeah. take the weather, the, the, the water? Yeah, yeah. But this over here is Naga hide, which I stitched on there personally myself. Okay. The, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you did this repair here. And the cushion or the, 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 the foam degrades after a while. Yeah. And, of course, I don't have the air cleaner uh, on the uh, okay. uh, carburetor. And the float is made out of uh, cork. And it's a little bit... Okay, I'm going to just try to get a little bit of... Try to get the sound of the motor turning over here. Turns over. There's some exhaust. And I've got the imitation of fiberglass fenders. Okay. Because you know the musician yeah. fucked up the original. Just look and you see that you don't twist an ankle. Or yep. I put on my shoes to to be able to be limber today. Maybe I should have worn my boots, though. Shine the light down there. Yep. There's the fender. Okay. And it's fiberglass. Yeah. All right. All right. So I think I got some footage there of the first time I went to see that bike. That was yesterday. Uh, that was Sunday. Um, today's Monday. And so I'm going to kind of bring you up to speed here because... This is completely bananas. Um, I'm on my way now to like tie up all the loose ends to try to get this to work and to, to pull this bike in and, and make it ours for the time being. Um, so let's, let's, let's go over details here. Um, uh, I contacted the guy who this bike belongs to. He was insistent it's an Indian Scout, and the price he was asking was a bit high for a Scout, to be honest. Um, but I was like, alright, you know what, I can try to help him move it, uh, because at the end of the day, I just want to see this bike go out. I am not in the market for a Scout in the slightest. Um, that's just not uh, a bike that really interests me. 
on an owning level. I think that they're awesome. Just not something that I, I, I can main, uh, afford to maintain or have in my life right now. Uh, maybe when I'm older, maybe when I'm more settled, maybe when I have a garage of my own. That'd be, that'd be chill, but that's not the case right now. So, I, uh, I'm looking at this bike and I'm, I'm about to leave. I'm talking with him and I'm like, all right, the price is a bit high, but, and I tell him, I'm like, look, I might not buy the bike. I just, exactly what I just said now. Um, but I, I, I'm sure I can find someone to buy it. And I was like, but I want to check the VIN. Uh, because I need to make sure that it's not stolen. I know you have a, a bill of sale, but, and you traded it for musical instruments, which is like, in 1976, this guy's had it since. Um, so, I, he's like, oh yeah, the VIN is CDH, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, wait a minute. You said it's a Scout, and, and, and the VIN for 1948 is... Uh, a CDH is a, is a chief and he's like no 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 absolutely not uh, I've been I know it's a scout it's been a scout everything I say has been a scout uh, it's always been a scout and I was like okay cool let me let me check the van I'll write it down and I'll uh, and I'll, I'll look it up and make sure everything's good so I'm I'm literally leaning over this bike over piles of, of stuff uh, and I look at the VIN you guys and the VIN starts with CDH. I am looking at a friggin' 1948 Indian Chief three blocks from my house in a basement. And at that point, I know I am taking this bike home. This is, this is what's happening, all right? So I am currently, uh, I have, I took the afternoon off of work. I told my boss what was going on. And she was like, you know, I don't really understand the specifics of this situation, but I know that you're incredibly excited about it, which makes me excited about it. So you can you know, do what you have to do. This is, as you said, this is a once in a lifetime experience. So, you know, go ahead and, and, and do that. So I'm gonna, I'm getting straps, I'm getting blankets, I'm doing getting everything that I can to take to a U-Haul and hopefully this video, the next part of this video, will be me. I'll show you this guy's basement and, and, and I have to clear out a path. It's gonna take us hours to clear out space to pull this bike out. It is packed in there. There's also a Norton in the back he completely forgot about. So that is a whole other time I'm gonna come. Uh, but like, guys, this is I, I don't even know what to think. This is just completely and totally bananas. And I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. All right, so here we are. I have no idea how much I'm gonna be able to film. There's a lot of work ahead of me, but here is the fork to start. So let's, oh boy, let's see what else we can grab. All right, I mean, here we just, are. It, 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 the only uh, uh, closest description. Yeah. And there it is. I'll come around. So we got to get out this way. And here, I'll show you the rest of it here. So we're going to start slowly getting this thing out of here. So here's the Indian. I'm gonna come back a little bit here. And back there is the Norton. Oh man, you guys, here it is. I'm gonna go find the wheels here. So we got it's the wheels. One of the one of the, like four uh, right there. Uh, uh. All right, we got 
Norton behind Lois right there. And I think that Norton is probably... Uh, so, Martin found the gas tank, or Lois found the gas Lois tank. Yeah. Lois yeah. found the gas tank, Martin's handing it to me, and we now have... Yeah, wrapped up like a gift. It's like a present for me. And I now have almost all of the bike in one spot. All right, you guys, so... This is just getting more and more absurd. Look at this. M47 truck. This is, I'm, I'm gonna buy this from them too. Uh, the whole, the rest of the truck are behind these doors right here. The, the frame, the body panels, the motor, the axles, everything. All right, you guys, it's getting kind of dark, so I'm gonna get this video here. Uh, here's a bunch of wheels, some for fork, fenders. This is a Norton in parts, uh, original exhaust. There's some drag pipes for it. Whole lot of stuff. And we've cleared out quite, oh, here's the frame for the Norton. We've cleared out quite a bit of space, so I think we're going to be able to move this thing out pretty easily. Here. Yeah, Let's just, go. Uh, yeah, this is right side, so there. Just put your head in there. And then arms through. Don't let go there. Yep. Yeah. There. Okay. There you go. All those deadlifts are going to come in handy now. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, that's it? Yeah, you're good. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just you're basically, good. yeah, I'm fine. I'm helping you take most of some of the load, and you're guiding. Watch out, Mr. Uh, four boards here. Yep, yeah, go. Oh. Out. It's out. Okay, here, can you? One, two, three. Ah. You're taking it all the way out? We're going to go as far until we're tired. Okay. Let me know if you need a break, Simon. So here it is, in all its glory. Got the Indian right there. Here is the original rims. Fender is fiberglass repop front wheel. Here's the fork. You've seen that a little bit already. And the original gas tank. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the bike. So we got the hand shifter, motor, trans kicker, 
and you can see it just how it engages is pretty neat it just engages like that all right it's missing the generator uh, hopefully the guy will be able to find it over the next few days here he's looking for the rest of the parts And it's a matching frame and engine, which I'm going to bring you down here to see it, just to show you. It is indeed a Chief, which is just like completely bananas to me. Uh, pretty wild. Nothing's like appears to be seized on it, which is just like... Pretty ridiculous. I don't think these are the original miles, but maybe, maybe it's a 14 mile original bike. Uh, so there you go, that's the whole bike. All right, so we got the Indian in the shop um holy shit i i don't i don't even know what to say like i'm not going to be able to give this the life it deserves so i'm going to be moving it on to someone who can um i'm just honored to be able to have like pulled this thing out of someone's basement and it's not going to a scrapyard it's not being uh taken by the city and put in a dumpster because the hoarder's house got shut down like we have it now and he's happy it's gone and he's happy it's gonna have another life so this is fucking legit like big ups to jerry here who helped simon who really like is like goddamn awesome and then Corey in the back back there working on his spike so this is the shop we got an iron head we got an XS650, we got a CB350, we got a FX whatever that thing is, and we got a goddamn 1948 Indian. That's insane. Uh, future videos on what I can find of the Norton, and uh, I found a 1947 M... M47. M47 pickup truck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Three blocks from my house. Like and subscribe, because this shit is phenomenal. This is probably the last video you'll see on the Indian, so sorry for everyone wanting to watch Indian videos. You're not going to find them here. Bye!